Lauren Boebert's history of backyard modeling may just be the tip of the iceberg she doesn't believe is melting, and in the middle of this side hustle escort expose is none other than sugar daddy senator Ted Cruz. Is this true? Quite possibly. Is this hilarious? Definitely. Select all images with ultra hypocrites. Cruz, Boebert, 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 Cruz, Boebert, Cruz, Boebert, Boebert, verify. Washington, politi Washington politicians are addicted to spending. We don't have a revenue problem, we have a spending problem. And this addiction, like the American Rescue Plan is causing, is similar to Parmesan cheese and Hunter Biden. Thanks and I yield back. <laughs> These are the same people that want to spend billions to put some sort of military force in schools. Thanks for tuning in to this midweek video short. It is pouring MAGA tears as a super PAC exposes more of Lauren Boebert's hypocrisy with multiple trips to Planned Parenthood and a history of large donations. Powder's biggest fan tweeted, Happy birthday, Dad! <laughs> Naturally, I replied, you tweeted this because you don't even have Diaper Don's phone number, and you thought a birthday greeting on the platform he was banned from made some kind of sense since you're permanently blasted on dunce dust, you crusty nutsock. According to a leak, Lauren Boebert allegedly worked as an escort who had two abortions, and one of them may have been with her client, Ted Cruz. The only thing that makes me doubt if Lauren Boebert and Ted Cruz actually slept together is that they're not related. Now I really want to get with you on this, but this will be a change for us because you're sleeping outside your family tree and with the Canadian. Lauren Boebert had a side income on SugarDaddyMeat.com where she was paid to escort wealthy men. According to information obtained by nonprofit political action committee American Muckrakers, the same super PAC that exposed Madison Cawthorn, Bobert was hired by a wealthy male client in Aspen who was a Koch family member. Bobert's client subsequently introduced her to U.S. Senator Ted Cruz, and in 2019, Cruz encouraged Bobert to run for Congress and then donated $126,000 to her campaign and helped Lauren Boebert raise large sums of money during her trips to Texas. Boebert didn't disclose a $75,000 donation until Cruz's Federal Election Commission filings contradicted her filings. According to this leak, Boebert went to a Planned Parenthood clinic in Glenwood Springs, Colorado, due to her work with a client, and had another procedure in Grand Junction. And it's not known whether the second was related to the Aspen client, a different SugarDaddyMeat.com client, or someone else. Something has never added up with this Princeton and Harvard educated politician giving seemingly out of nowhere overwhelming support for low rent booze burp. Why her? Why would this man feel the need to donate very large sums to someone that runs a bad restaurant and he went on to write the foreword for her book? Why, why her? Lauren Boebert hitting pound town with Ted Cruz is the worst imagery since Marjorie Taylor Greene's feet. The socks stay on. The socks stay on. My family and I were with President Trump. And even not liking germs, President Trump shared a bowl of popcorn with my 14-year-old son. Now listen, Wyoming. I know where he's been. I don't share food with my son. But President Trump welcomed him and engaged with him and showed him love and respect, just like I've seen him do with hundreds and thousands of other people all throughout America, because he's not a politician. He's a family man. He's a businessman. And he loves you. He loves America. And he will be back again. Lauren Boebert thinks Donald Trump is generous because he shared popcorn with her 14-year-old son. To be fair, Trump mistook her teenage son for Jared Kushner, and he was hoping to get some of where Jared's been. If your hand was on Ivanka earlier today, if you put her hand on her, and now it's in the popcorn, and some of that popcorn ends up in my hand, I'm leaking Ivanka, I'm just saying, this is pretty awesome. A little taste, okay? A little taste of Ivanka, I love it. Burnt Bulb's praise of Trump sharing is just weird, since she said she wouldn't even share food with her own son, because of germs. 
again, this is the same person who hospitalized dozens when she put an unlicensed food stand with no hot or cold food storage. Bobert served rancid pork sliders and made a lot of people very ill, yet she's worried about her hand in the same popcorn bowl as her kid. If Lauren Boebert did have two abortions, that was her right to have access to safe and legal services. Good. What is wrong is that she wants that right taken away from others. I feel like our son almost could be like an Elon Musk type because he looks at things in a way, the things that he observes when he looks at like a I mean, video or a picture, race, by the way. I'm like, Wow, like you're looking at that in a way I never even thought about. But that's Elon Musk. Okay. Like, you know, this guy is like running the world now. He's got like a hyper Samoth yeah. in Yeah, there's world. something really interesting happening. All right. First off, this has to be the whitest show on the internet. Also, I don't really think they know what a savant or a hyper savant is. Lara is basically saying she's dumber than a four year old with Trump genetics. How are you coming up with that? Wow, that's amazing. How are you doing that? At 10 years old in the early 80s, Elon Musk coded a video game on a Commodore VIC-20, a simple space shooter he called Blastar, and he sold the code to a PC magazine when he was 12 for $500. That was a lot of money in 1983. I would love to use Mike Lindell's time thing and zip to the future and see what Eric and the Makeup Lab Explosions child is up to, because odds are probably not the next Elon Musk. Sarah Palin's slow cousin tweeted, Last year, we saved 16 cents on hot dogs. This year, we can't afford to drive to the store to buy them. Naturally, I replied, You got caught trying to deduct the circumference of the earth in gas mileage, and you gargled Jason's deformed cocktail hot dog behind a bowling alley dumpster. Sit this one out, burn bulb. 41,000 dum-dums think this man has something important to say. MAGA tears. Karen is someone's name, not your stupid crude insult. Knock it off. MAGA tears. The Ministry of Truth may want to talk to you about this video, Wizard of Oz theme song for your performance, if you only had a brain. MAGA tears. Stop making fun of Marjorie's feet. MAGA tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. Be sure to check them out. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.